Tonight, a send-off days in the making. Dozens of Fort Bragg paratroopers were supposed to leave last weekend. After three different delays, the soldiers are finally on their way to Afghanistan. They were wheels up about an hour ago. Greg Barnes takes us to the emotional send-off. It's been a long goodbye for these soldiers and their families with repeated hugs and tears many had hoped they wouldn't have to endure. I, I can't. I think it is a little more difficult just leading up to it. I, I think that we, we've we already said the goodbye once. <laughs> so now it's like, I don't even know if this is going to be real. Her husband, one of 70 soldiers who've been waiting to deploy to Afghanistan since Saturday. That's when their first flight was canceled and two subsequent flights were also canceled. Through text messages and, and phone calls, it's been, you know, back and forth. Okay, this is when we're leaving. And then, you know, change plans, but that, that's, that's the way we do things, stay flexible. These soldiers are helicopter medevac crews. Their mission in Afghanistan to rescue wounded and injured soldiers, many times from combat zones. Uh, us as medics and the crew chiefs, pretty much anything that we do will make a difference whether or not that person gets to go back home and see their family. This afternoon, the soldiers and their loved ones gathered in this hangar at Simmons Army Airfield to count down the final moments until they had to say goodbye one more time. For many of these soldiers, this is their second or third deployment to Afghanistan. The long hugs and tears, a reminder to us all, their mission is the most noble one. A person in the uniform is a hero. I mean, everybody's a hero, and he's a really hero, too. And these soldiers are the first wave of another deployment for the Combat Aviation Brigade. 1,700 additional troops are scheduled to leave here sometime this fall. Their deployment expected to run about nine months. At Fort Bragg, Greg Barnes, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. <laughs>